Well, this might look like a tribute to Red Green. It's uh, actually not. It's uh, just a little introduction to some of the fundamental uh, basics of uh, using XN and having virtual machines with Novell Suzy. Hello, my name is Nick Felton. I'm here today. I'm going to give you a little introduction to uh, some of the topics that are covered in the 3089 and 3090 class. The material comes directly from some of those. Uh, we're not necessarily going to do the material, but we're just going to look at how to uh, make sure that the uh, different parts and pieces of that are installed okay, and to make sure that uh, your virtual machines are up and running okay. Now we'll give you a little example of that. Uh, come here, start up YAS, which we're all somewhat familiar with. One thing that's newer in this version of uh, SLES is uh, Virtual Machine Manager. We're going to fire that up for a minute from now. First, though, I want to just mention uh, the bootloader. This used to always just be done in a text mode. Now it can also be done in a GUI. It should be coming up here in the background. Uh, you can quickly and easily uh, change which you want to have be your preferred boot order. Uh, it's a lot friendlier, a lot easier to do than it used to be. Uh, normally, you have to install the uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server first, and then specify XN, and then after you reboot, you can have that be the one you boot to. I also have a version of uh, legacy version of uh, Windows Vista on there, too. Um, uh, we want to get back to the uh, virtual machine, just get a little bit familiar with some of the objects here. I have a virtual Linux box uh, down here in the bottom. I've uh, allocated uh, RAM, you can see, to it, and a network box on top. Domain zero is, of course, the host machine. You can see in the background that uh, our Linux box is now, our virtual Linux box is now running in the background. We're going to go ahead and start the network server. Um, you'll notice I have the network server uh, set for uh, a gig of RAM. Uh, pretty much any virtual network server requires that now. Uh, one requirement that's there is you're going to have to have any uh, network server. It's going to have to be service, you know, network 65, service pack 7 to run this way. Uh, we'll look at the details of that first to give you a little bit of the feeling for how you can adjust some of the different uh, parameters. Uh, processor, the memory you can adjust. It won't take effect unless, you know, while it's running, but that's not running yet. Uh, disk. Network connection, basically saying that it's a bridge. We're going to go ahead and uh, start that up too. Well, that's starting up in the background. We'll log on to uh, the uh, Linux box here. Well, that's logging in. The network server has started up. One other thing to keep in mind, uh, just as your basic setup, different things that you're going to want to keep in mind is you're going to want to have a minimum of uh, 2 gig in your host machine as far as RAM. Uh, the class goes over a good bit of material as far as uh, the kernels that you want to use. You can use two different ones with that amount of RAM. Uh, it's uh, pretty much there's one that you'll want to use so that from henceforth anything you do will always use the same kernel and you'll be able to move it to any other machine that you choose to. If you found this time useful, Novell has a link that I will provide at the end of this for their training locator that I find very valuable. If you're looking for any needs I, that they might meet, uh, that would be a place to look. That would be the place to look. Also, uh, I would invite you to come back to Cool Solutions. There's a lot of good information here and many numerous topics and a uh, very good community that uh, people all contribute to and uh, I found it very useful.